Welcome back to my channel. So today I have come up with a new topic on research support. This is rapid general quality check. So this is a chrome extension which you can put. So it will be very useful for checking the quartile of a journal. So this can be even extended to your Google Scholar page. So that in a one click you get to know the quartile of the particular journal. So let me give you some details about this today. So as I told you it is a chrome extension that you can add. So it will it will be very useful when you are uh, having a Google Scholar page and your Google Scholar uh, uh, papers that you add there will directly tell you which quartile it belongs to and you can get more details also regarding H index and so on. Okay, so you can even pin it to your uh, Google Scholar page and you can get more details on it. So this is just to show you a demo of it, just to show you like uh, based on the papers you can check here the quartile of the journal right q1 so when you we know it is a scopus index journal we have quartiles q1 q2 q3 q4 okay so so top 25 percent of the uh, journals in that particular theme will come under q1 top 50 percent like uh, from uh, 50 to 75 will come under q2 25 to 50 will come under q3 and uh, 0 to 25 will come under q4 so this is the uh, icon which you can pin it okay so this is the uh, uh, icon which you can pin it in a Google Scholar page. So if you click on this uh, icon, you can get further details on the H index of the journal also. Okay. So let me show you a small demo on it, how to do it. So first of all, you should uh, go to your uh, Google page. And in the Google page, you can just type uh, rapid journal quality check so once you type this you will get the first link google journal i mean rapid journal quality check you can click on it so once you click on this the page opens so the here, the here you can see add to chrome you can add it to your chrome okay you have to just press this add to chrome and you have to add extension so you can see it is downloading so it depends on your internet speed So once it is downloaded, you can check that extension in your extensions. Okay. So first of all, I have downloaded it. It's taking some time. So it would have come in your extension. Okay. Here you can see. One second. In extensions you can see it would have come okay and you can even pin it if you want okay so if you pin it it will come to your page so if you don't pin it it doesn't come so you can pin it and if I open my Google Scholar page this is initially how it looks okay so before I uh, I'll just show you if this is not there how it looks so in the extension let me unpin it and let me off it okay so if I off it and refresh that means the extension is not added your Google Scholar page would look something like this so quartile of the journal and etc would not be seen but now I have added this extension so I will pin it and I will on it okay so if I on it and refresh Now you can see all the quartiles have been displayed, right? So you can see all the quartiles of the papers that I have published is displayed in my Google Scholar page. So this would be an advantage 
whoever visits your Google Scholar page, they would get an idea what kind of publications you're doing in which journals plus the quartile of the journal details also can be got within one click of a button, right? So now, since I've installed it and uh, one second, it's on, internet is little slow, just give me a sec. Refresh. So now you can see the quartile of the journal is coming, right? So now if I click on this, I can see the H index. So the journal name, H index and uh, SJR, so various details can be got. So we are more interested in the journal name and H index. So uh, further they may improve it. So this is basically for Scopus uh, kind of data. So if you are working on uh, web of science, we know that we don't have quartiles there. Okay, so coming to the uh, takeaway messages, we have seen how we can uh, uh, try to add a Chrome extension, which will be very useful for getting details about the quartile of the journal. Okay, so pinning option would be very much better so that your Google Scholar page will get data on the quartiles of the journal. So anybody visiting your page will get more details on what kind of paper you're publishing, which quartile it belongs to, which gives more credibility to the researcher. So try to utilize this, try to uh, download this extension and see that you can add it to your uh, Google Scholar page, which will be useful. So I will also show you the quartiles, like how to search it, okay? So Q1, Q2, I'm telling you, right? So you can go to scopus.com, okay? So uh, immediately it gets updated. So usually uh, as per the reviews which I've seen that they have told that they're using Schemago page to update this, but Schemago is not very authentic because it is not updated uh, regular basis. But if you want to verify whether whatever quartile is shown in this uh, using this rapid general quality check is fine, you can go to scopus.com. Uh, in scopus.com, you can uh, uh, write the name of the journal. So taking one example, like environmental nanotechnology monitoring and management, it was showing Q1 year. I'm just confirming it using scopus.com. Uh, so this is the journal name. So you can, in sources, you can just type the name of the journal. So if you can type that uh, name of the journal, environmental, it depends on which uh, area you're working on. This is the journal. So find sources. So when you click on it, you can see this is in the top 93. So if it is between 75 to 100, it will come under the top 25% of the journals, which is a Q1 journal. Okay, so in this way, you will get to know that it is confirmation that environmental nanotechnology monitoring and management will come under Q1. So it's a confirmation now. So in this way, you can, if you want, you can confirm. So as of now, uh, as per the reviews of this particular rapid journal quality check, they have told that it is from Schemago, but definitely it will improve and uh, they might use scopus.com in the future. And uh, Web of Science definitely, as we know, will not be considered because they don't, we don't have uh, quartiles there. So as of now, it is uh, specifically for Scopus uh, uh, database. Okay, so. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me till date. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel Geeks and Geeks. Please like the videos and please share the videos with research fraternity so that whoever is interested in research, improving your profile can try to add this extension to their Google Scholar page. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.